Hi and welcome to this week's What's For Dinner video. I haven't shared one of these in a long time, but it is my goal with this video to show you that you can stay in your calories, you can stay in your macros, and you can do it with delicious food that doesn't take forever to cook, and you're happy and excited to eat. So let's get into this What's For Dinner video because I have three exciting dinners for you. One's not even a recipe, so let's get into it. For the first recipe in this What's For Dinner video, we are going to make a play on like the chicken gnocchi soup that you get from Olive Garden, but not soup. We're gonna do it as like a pasta. So my goal with this like What's For Dinner is to really show you that you can stick in your calories, whether it be convenience meal, whether it be a 15 minute meal, it doesn't have to be a complicated dinner for you to still stick in your calories. So that is my goal. This is gonna be like probably a 15 minute meal. You could make it even faster. Let me show you. So we're going to start out with some gnocchi. These cook in two to three minutes. So, wow, these are made in Italy. So, I don't know, some people don't have as many problems with Italy made gluten and stuff. That, we're gonna use some minced garlic. Let me grab this out of here. Is the Trader Joe's um, spinach artichoke dip from the freezer section. And I've just microwaved it like per the instructions. And then you're gonna need some cottage cheese that I blended. You don't have to blend it, I just prefer the texture. So it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Half a tablespoon of this minced garlic. And to keep it super simple, I really wanted to add some onion, but I don't feel like chopping any, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this dehydrated onion. It'll rehydrate as it cooks in here. Give this a stir and let that garlic start heating up. When your garlic and onions are starting to do their thing, this would be a great time to add some carrots, but I didn't have any. So we're just gonna saute that up. Then you're gonna add your gnocchi. I like to just kind of toss them about, let them get a little color, and then we're gonna add in a half a cup of water. I seasoned my water and my gnocchi with some salt, pepper, and onion salt. And then once that water is kind of cooked down some is when you're gonna add in your already heated up spinach artichoke dip. Give that a good stir until it's combined and we're gonna add in our 200 grams of our blended cottage cheese and stir that together. It's gonna be so cheesy, so good. We're gonna add in our chicken and it's done. It's delicious and I can't wait for you to see it. Last but not least, I almost forgot, I added in some grated Parmesan cheese. I just weighed it out, but the measurements will be in the description box. I can't wait. This pasta, 10 out of 10. This recipe is gonna make four portions. So I'm gonna show you how I like to portion, or not necessarily portion it out, but to know how many grams are in a portion so I can weigh out my individual portion. So I just take a big old glass bowl and you want to turn your scale on and zero it out. So that way the bowl weighs zero. And then you're gonna get your stuff. So here I have our gnocchi. It looks so good by the way. You're literally just gonna pour it. It did kind of come out a little soupy, but I'm sure it'll thicken as it cools too. You're just gonna take it and get as much as you can out of the pan and into the bowl. Now I'm gonna look at what it says on here. And it came out right at, as soon as I get the rest of this in here, 1400 grams. So take 1400 grams, it is 1400. Um, and we are going to divide that by four. So then I'll just use a calculator if I can't think of it by myself. 
what is that, 400 each? No, that doesn't add up. 1400 divided by four, 350? I don't know. 350 is the serving. I was right on that second one. So I'm gonna zero out my bowl right there. Up a serving that has about everything in it. You want everything to be almost the same. That's 350 grams. I think I'm gonna give it a stir so I can have it all mixed together. There we go. So that's 350 grams. I will, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I will try to find a veggie to eat with it. Um, you could do a salad on the side. You could do broccoli on the side because it only has a little bit of spinach and artichokes. So you just have to find what works for you and the balance and what you like. So if you don't feel like this is like enough food for you, even though it can be really filling, here's the macros for it. So you can see like the protein breakdown and stuff. Add something else. Like I would love to add some carrots in here, but I didn't have any. So it really would give that vibe of the chicken yogi soup. But I didn't have any, so that's okay. You work with what you have. You don't have to go out and spend a fortune and you can make stuff work for you. So let's give this a taste. Give this a little taste test. I'm so excited, but it's also very hot. Okay. Got the gnocchi, got the... That is so good. Oh my gosh, the flavor, the taste, you have to make this one. You have, I promise you make this, it's so good and so easy. Tonight, what's for dinner is going to be on the other end of the spectrum. So you saw me make something homemade. Now we are gonna do something convenient because I know everybody does not have the time to be out here making from scratch dinner all the time. So I got this from Sam's. It was in my last grocery haul. I'm gonna say it was like $14, um, but it is quite a lot of steak actually. It is prime rib and it's 24 ounces. So one and a half pounds, so that's not bad. And it comes done like this. And also has a little chimichurri sauce to go with it, which is also a very good on shrimp if you've never had chimichurri sauce. So this is 280 calories for five ounces. And it is also, does that include the sauce? I guess that includes the chimichurri sauce. So looks like kind of weird then. Anyway, um, and it is 18 grams of protein, seven grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat. And it's actually six net carbs. So this is from Sam's, screenshot this if you'd want it. Um, if not, I'm sure many places have a prepared steak like this. So basically, we've got to read these instructions. It says, remove pouch of steak from the sealed tray. Pierce four to five holes of pouches in the steak. For ventilation, heat and microwave for 90 seconds. Let the steak pouch sit for 60, rest for 60 seconds, and heat in the microwave on high heat for an additional 60 seconds. Carefully cut the pouch of steak open and pour into bowl. Carefully cut the chimichurri packet and stir it in. So, there we go. We popping this in the microwave. Ooh, that went all the way through, didn't it? No, we're good. Okay, 90 seconds. We're gonna be eating the steak street taco style. So these are my preferred street taco uh, tortillas. And then also we're gonna be topping them with some pico this cottage cheese guac situation and some of the Trader Joe's roasted corn. If you want the recipe, if you want the recipe for one of these two things, I'm gonna link it in the I cards up here, up here, whichever way it is. Um, it was in a couple, what I eaten days ago. But let's let that rest for the 60 seconds and then we're gonna come and put it all together. It's gonna be the simplest supper eat ever. I just got the steak out. I'm gonna smell this chimichurri and see what I think. Cause if it's too herby, I'm definitely not using it. it. Smells nice, okay. I wanna try it though to give it like the full, I know what I eat. I'm mixing it in this container because why dirty a bowl? Who knows? This is about convenience tonight. So it said carefully cut open and pour this in to your bowl. Looks really good. Oh, looks good. Yeah. 
All right, and now you pour your chimichurri over the top. Stir. Come taste it. Come taste it. Okay, if you like cilantro, if you like cilantro, you'll like the chimichurri. If not, probably not. It's got chimichurri on it. Me on taste it. Here, baby. Here. Dinner. Oh, well, it's prime rib. Where's she at? She's going in a circle here. You like it? Delicious. He really likes cilantro, though. I gotta put some pecan on it. No. I'm about to make your tacos. Her day is. I'll take you over here and build our tacos and show you, like, weighing them out and stuff. This is me realizing this did not um, film, but I basically just put all that stuff on them street tacos and they were they were good. I just wouldn't buy it again. Tonight's dinner is gonna be mini barbecue chicken pizzas. These are so good. It's something I used to make a lot, but I haven't made in a long time. But again, with the theme of this video, I'm trying to be convenient. Stuff that's not gonna take you hours to make. Something that's easy. And this is the star of the show. These are the Joseph's Pita Bread. Um, I think there is a different kind that's more calories. This is the 60 calorie one. So it's 60 calories for one pita and six grams of protein. We're going to be topping it with some cheese, some ranch. It's going to be like chicken bacon, not chicken, bacon ranch. Barbecue chicken ranch mini pizzas. <laughs> so let me show you how to make This is literally the easiest dinner. Start off by spraying your pan and then we're going to do two pitas per person. If you're that hungry, if you're not, do one. That's totally up to you. I'll give you the macros for one um, pizza at the end. But, and so remember I had two pizzas, but I'll give you the macros for one. <laughs> so just lay those out and then you're going to take some ranch. I'm using my homemade cottage cheese ranch, about 15 grams per pita, pizza, what are pita pizza? 15 grams per one and just spread that around and that's your sauce. time for cheese keep in mind i'm using this one from trader joe's it's about 60 calories for a quarter cup and you're going to use about a quarter cup on each pita pizza that's what we're going to call them pita pizzas you're going to use a quarter cup per pizza Now time for chicken. I'm telling you, prep some grilled chicken at the beginning of the week, put it in the fridge. I'm using that sliced, use rotisserie chicken, whatever is easy for you, or that bagged grilled chicken, whatever. I'm using about 115 grams between the two, so about, we'll call it 100 and, what was that, seven grams, 108 grams, um, no. Mm -mm. 58 grams per pizza and then now your favorite barbecue sauce i'm using this one from kinder's it's about 50 calories per serving it's like the carolina gold maybe it's delicious you're just gonna drizzle it over the top about 20 grams so about 10 grams per pizza bake this at 425 for about 15 minutes here it is um this is like proof it can be fast it can be easy this took me 15 minutes and i included like baking it just to have something Prep some chicken at the beginning of the week. You can use it so many ways. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can love your food and still lose weight. You don't have to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli. Mm. Here's the macros for this, just to prove it. And you can do it too. So, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Thank you for watching this week's What's for Dinner video. I hope these helped you. I hope you like and subscribe and come join our family. And let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.